I was lucky some instructors let me turn on late work and do makeup assignments. I had to talk my way out of a couple failing grades, but I survived my first semester and I was due another financial aid check in January. I didn't have much hope of actually graduating and getting a degree in journalism, but I was proud to have survived one of the hardest times of my life. Chris and Summer didn't ask for money and encouraged me to save what I made. I couldn't have had better friends at the time, and I don't think I would have had the courage to keep going to UT without them. Summer had been going there for almost three years and had a better idea than anyone what I was going through. They're not all stuck-up frat boys and sorority girls, she told me. There's some really interesting people. You just have to look closer. You're just seeing what you choose to see on the surface. She was right. I was so upset about how different I felt that I didn't keep an open mind. I turned it into me against them thing, which led me to not take advantage of or even notice all the interesting people and opportunities that walked right in front of me every day. A week before Christmas, Michael called and said he got kicked out and was living in his car. It was freezing outside, so I told Chris and Summer about it, and they invited him to sleep in the corner of their living room. He got there in an hour, ate something, and went to sleep. Now there were four people and three cats living in a one-bedroom apartment, but surprisingly, everyone got along. I slept on the couch, Chris and Summer slept in the bedroom, and Michael slept on a pile of dirty clothes that smelled like cat piss. Mornings were hectic, with everyone getting dressed, using the bathroom, making breakfast, and feeding the cats. Summer and I walked to school early in the morning and went our separate ways when we got there. While we were in class, Chris and Michael smoked pot and watched PBS children's shows. The month off I had for Christmas gave me time to reflect. I reminded myself that I was still the same person whether I was a student at UT or picking up trash on the side of the freeway. I told myself to relax. I didn't have to be there. I could be easily doing this whole back to school thing for fun or just to see what college is actually like. Pretty good, though. Mm -hmm.